Caitlin gets ready for kindergarten? Or, who will be my friend? Story and Pictures by Betsy Lee Bailey When Caitlin was a baby, she always wanted Mom. She cried for Mom and clung to Mom to help her stay calm. As long as Mother held her, Caitlin stayed content, but Mother really wanted her to have more friends. As Caitlin grew, she learned her siblings could be fun, and grateful Mother hoped that she could get chores done, while Caitlin's older brother and her sisters, too, would entertain that child because she had work to do. But sometimes Brother Mike had things he'd rather do, why don't you play with Catherine? Then he'd gently shoo. That girl to find her sister, Michael, then would shut the door securely after her and play constructs. Can't play with you right now, said Catherine. Can't you see? I'm practicing box prelude number one in C. Go bother Carolyn. She's playing ponies now. I'm sure she'll let you play. It's her turn anyhow. Carolyn had pony stuff set on the bed and also on the floor and even overhead. You can play, but just don't mess up anything. And if you stay, you'll need to sing the songs I sing. She didn't know just how to play like Carolyn did, and so she walked away, a sad and lonely kid. She went to find her mother, saying, Be my friend! Of course, said Mother, and a happy time they spent. You're my good little helper, and I thank you so. And when the baby comes, I'll need your help, you know. But what that really meant was Mother wasn't free to play with little Caitlin. So miserable was she. Mom knew that something must be done to calm her fears. Not having friends to play with often led to tears. The older kids would leave for school, and then they'd start. Who will be my friend? cried Caitlin from the heart. Mom had trouble finding friends. None lived nearby. And traveling far for playdates made Mom cringe and fly. New baby Matthew complicated schedules. It was rough. And finding time to make new friends was really tough. Don't worry, Daddy told her. Caitlin, soon you'll be the one who gets to go to preschool. Then you'll see. But who will be my friend? asked Caitlin with a frown. You'll make some new friends there, they said, so just calm down. Caitlin worried that she'd never find a friend at that scary distant school she'd soon attend. She got so very anxious till that very day. But when she met the kids, her fears all went away. Summer came and worries started up again. When Caitlin learned about the new school she'd attend, kindergarten class was in the big kids' school, and changing friends again for her seemed just plain cruel. Kindergarten's fun, declared her siblings three. We wish we were in kindergarten. They agreed. You'll make new friends, the kids assured her as they played. I did, said Michael. So did I. Me too, the girls said. But who will be my friend? Her worries were not eased. Then you'll just have to learn to be a friend, they teased. Mother said that they'd prepare in many ways to get her ready for her kindergarten day. You can color, cut, and count, and then if you just try, you can learn to button, zip, and even tie. But I can't do those things, said Caitlin. No, not one. That's why we practice, laughed her sisters. <laughs> It'll be fun. And though there are no little friends your age nearby, the girls will help you learn to be a friend. So try. 
And yet when Caitlin visited her new classroom, her heart beat fast and still she felt some doom and gloom. Her teachers, with their charming smiles, both tried to say they'd help her find new friends in class without delay. Yet when the first day came, she asked, Please stay with me. You know I can't, said Mom, as she pulled forcefully. But who will be my friend? Caitlin was anxious still, until she heard a voice behind her say, I will. Just then another little voice said, I will too. Caitlin spun around surprised and said, Who are you? I'm Ella. And I'm Anna. Then they took her hands. The three of them began to do a happy dance. But when they stopped, the girls broke into knowing grins. When Caitlin recognized, she saw identical twins. The twins then looked at Caitlin, soon to realize she looked a lot like them and was their very size. Each of them had hair of blonde and cut the same. They all had brown eyes, too. And then the twins exclaimed, You can be our triplet, laughing gleefully. Then off they went to class. They all went willingly. So Caitlin finally found a friend. Indeed, it's true. Because of caring sisters, Caitlin always had two.